Hi friends, in this video we will talk about experience fragments in AEM. Let us see the steps involved. We will create an experience fragment, we will author it and verify it from the CRX. That's what we will do in our demo. Let us go to creating an experience fragment. Log into the AEM. Go to experience fragment. Let us first create a folder. So this folder holds all the experience fragments. Now select the folder and create an experience fragment. Name it. Enter some description. and add some tags next go and select the template for your experience fragment i have selected the default one you are done with creation of the experience fragment let us see how to author experience fragment we will author assets components and variation select it click on edit Now the created experience fragment is open. You have options to author the components, assets, etc. So let me go and add a component, image component. Let me add an image. Here you can see that this is a sample fragment and you will be able to create variations from here. So select the template for the variation. I'll go for a mobile variation here. So this variation will be helpful when we display it for various display devices, for example, websites or mobile devices. You can see the success message here now. Now let me author this experience fragment on a page. I'll go to the site admin. I'll create a new page under the very tail. Select a content template. Open it. Now let me go and add a content ex, sorry experience fragment. So now I need to configure which variation of the experience fragment is required. So uh, what I need to do is I have to mention the path. Click on it. Let us configure the path for the variation. So I'll select that experience fragment, my sample. Select it. Approve it. So you can see that image is added now. So this is the way we author. In case we need to author the variation, we can select the corresponding variation. Now let us see how to find this experience fragment in CRXT. This is to help us where the experience fragment is residing in CRX content repository. So go to the content. You can see the experience fragment. Here you can see the newly created experience fragment. So if we need to modify some of the property, this is another way of doing it. Hope this video was helpful to understand about the AEM experience fragments. If you are interested, you can visit our blog. Thanks for watching.